today we are going to know about uh, background thread how to use a background thread we would also know about why we use a background thread and uh, why we need it uh, first of all i have to use these uh, two buttons one one for starting a thread and one for stopping a thread first of all we should know about thread thread uh, let's suppose i am clicking on this uh, start button and uh, when the thread starts and uh, it takes time so i cannot change the ui because uh, it's a main thread so i cannot change a ui that's why we would create another thread for it to change the ui to maintain the ui with the thread so uh, let's get started it's Rehan and uh, if you are new to this channel please make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so now here what you should do first I created this and I have also taken a on click listener on this button two buttons here one start button and one stop button do one thing here I have done here binding here view binding if you are, uh, don't know how to use a view binding so I have already created a view binding video you can click on the info button to know about it okay or you can also check a description for the link and uh, here let me create a instance of a button so button button bt btn start and here create a reference btn start find view by id r dot id dot button start thread so it's done now first uh, we should do one thing here we should create a for loop here so create a loop f o r i uh, it's a shortcut to create a loop here and uh, here give the value of uh, let me give 10 and here what you should do create uh, show one log so log logd and uh, here first create a tag here logt done this is done and here show thread started and also here sleep it give it a time to sleep for a while sleep and give it a, let me give one second 1000 millisecond is equal to one second so and now it requires a try and catch block so let me do it uh, click on this bulb and surround with try catch and it is surrounded now here it is done now when I run the app let me run this is run and now let me show it in the log cat here uh, copy this paste it here in the debug and uh, when I click on the start here look start thread is started look here and uh, when I change this it's not changing so if you are clicking on this it's not clicking so it's not get uh, changing the UI and now and when I change it it crashes the app so let me do it here one thing here uh, also add here I so it would also show this so for that uh, to manage your UI with this you should first create a thread here and let me create a uh, inner thread here class example thread and extend it with thread all right here here uh, our right one method run remove this and uh, copy this whole for loop cut this and uh, Mm, paste it here create one constructor here to get the uh, class so first create one 
create one variable seconds and example thread int seconds seconds this dot dot seconds equal seconds all right now here uh, it's done and uh, uh, instead of this paste here 10 or oh, sorry seconds paste here second so now we would uh, send data from there uh, uh, from start button here let me call that uh, thread here example thread example thread new example thread and pass a value here 10 seconds then now start this thread to start a thread dot start and uh, if I instead of this uh, start if I do one thing here let dot run if I use this so it would run the same uh, thread on the main thread what is main thread we use main thread for the UI uh, all these things on create and everything uh, it, it's these all process happens in the main thread UI are uh, it is also called a um, UI thread so to remove it uh, from the main thread and uh, show it in the background uh, thread here use start start all right now when run this now look here when i click on the start it is started and if i want to change this it's changing because it is in the background thread and uh, when it get finished look it's finished and we have given 10 seconds so it's completed now when I click on this again it's again starting but uh, now this so it, it is because we have used a background thread here look when I click on this it's moving now what you should do here oh, you should do one thing here if you want to access the UI thread from the background thread so it is not possible to use it with this example thread let me try one thing here when this uh, in this for loop let me try one thing if I equal equal 5 so button start dot set text 50% now we want to access this main thread UI from this uh, background thread so what uh, it, what would happen if we use this let me try run this now look here when I click on start it's uh, going going towards 5 and now it's crashes when it reached 5 why because we cannot access the UI thread from the look here on only the original thread that creates a view hierarchy can touch it views it means that uh, only the main thread can reach this uh, UI so to access this we should create one another class one, one runnable class for it let me create class example example runnable X implements we should use implement here runnable and uh, also override method run okay now copy this and also copy this uh, seconds all right and uh, create a constructor here example runnable and and uh, seconds 
this that seconds equal seconds all right uh, to use this remove this let me command this and uh, use example runnable example runnable new example runnable and pass a second it requires a second so pass let me pass 10 second and here start this thread so if you want to start this runnable thread you must start it with the same thread For how to start uh, like create an instance uh, create an object of a thread thread and pass this example runnable and here dot start to use the same runnable you should uh, you should use this uh, thread here now let me run this again now look here clear this and uh, start this is started when it reached to 5 it will still crash look it is crash why it's it is still showing the same uh, issue that it cannot touch with this so to solve this what you have to do here we should use it here let me cut this and use it in the runnable here here remove this and now it won't crash because we have accessing is it uh, looper main looper here and we can use it in the runnable here we cannot use in this thread we cannot use it in this thread okay let me run it here look this is started here and when it reaches to 5 look the value is changed here look at this this is changed we can now access it because and again it is started and uh, when it reaches 5 it still changing now the first way to use it here to access the main thread main UI to you uh, so for that you should uh, use this uh, get main looper here and uh, second way to use it here is this one which i have used it here and uh, to use it button dot start dot post and use this runnable here and when i run this clear this r look when i click on this start this is started here and uh, when it reaches to 5 this value is changed and we can also access this UI here now the third way to use it here is button uh, command this here and uh, third way is run on UI thread and again new runnable here and paste this now let me run the again again uh, so you show here a locator now click on start it started here one two three four five and it's changed now these are three ways to use it and to get them a main thread from the background thread so it's done and uh, now there are another way to use a main thread to use a thread in uh, choose a background thread here is it is the it is very easy here look instead of doing all this command this first and here do one thing now here new thread new runnable access do whatever you want to write uh, use it here work whatever you want to work here you can do it here we can do all this for loop etc uh, in this uh, in this you can whatever you want to do it here you can create a background thread using this but i would oh, recommend the best way is to use runnable here why because we can access the main thread we can access also we can also access the main thread from this uh, whatever whenever we need a main thread we would use this so
it was all about creating a background thread and access also accessing the main thread from the background thread so if you got the idea how to use it so please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and uh, if you are confused in this because it is a little uh, confusing topic here so please comment if you are confused okay